Hey man, have you heard about that collaboration card Fluid Stark? If you haven't, well let me tell you about it! On day one, there's Brian Seglaski from Brian's Upper Valley Artistry. Then Polly Fisher from The Morning Paw Art with Polly. Then Kristen and Kayla, Kristen and Kayla from KK Create, get out of here! Then Nate Bright, Nate Bright Art, yes, yes, yes! Then Anna Blunt, Anna Blunt Art, yes! Followed by Sarah Mac. Can you believe Sarah Mac on the bill? Yeah! Followed by Kelly Marshall, Kelly Marshall Art and Live, yes! Erica Hughes, Erica Hughes Art! Followed by Laurie Vincer from Art by Sparkles! Yee Then on day two, there's Lisa Marvin from Lisa Marvin Art! Yes! No way! It's Jeff Hunter from JHA Art Studio! Then we've got Julie Eber from Acrylic Painting with Julie Eber! Followed by Moose from Moose Crazy Flowing Canvas! Then we've got Mina Villegas from Mina Villegas Art! Then would you believe we've got Angie Mason from Angie Mason Fluid Art! Followed by Marcy Farrow from Mixed Media Girl! Followed by Karen Dobson from Waterfall Acrylics! Then we've got Garrick Brown from Garrick Brown Art Studio! Fluid Stack is presented by... Nathan Lenzo from the Fine Art of Distraction! Yeah! So come with us and join in with all the fun over two huge days with all these amazing artists! Fluid Stock, the Flower Child Collaboration! Hey guys, welcome to Acrylic Painting with me, Julie E. I'm so glad you're making it here today. Um, you were outside and it is super hot. And um, But we're going to have a fun collab. It's a Flower Child Collaboration, Fluid Stock. Going back to the 60s and the hippie feeling. And uh, <laughs> I want to thank Nathan for including me in such a fun collaboration with a bunch of wonderful artists. So, um, yeah, let's go back up to the studio, get out of the heat, get in the AC, and start painting. Okay, we're back in the AC of the studio. So, yay, it's been so hot here. Um, what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be working on an edge canvas, 20 by 20, and we're gonna be pouring through a shot glass dispenser. Very fun, very fun. It makes a really pretty flower pattern. And for our pouring medium, we're gonna be using mixed pour, and to get that, you can just contact Krista at, Krista Rasmussen at Krista, 8974 at gmail.com. I'll have the link in the description. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. And then um, for our base coat, we're going to be using a combination of Artist Loft Flow White with a little bit of satin enamel. And then our colors, all the rainbow colors you saw in the awesome logo that Nathan created for us. And they are a combination of all these paints. Look at that. Yep. Okay. Let's put on some music, get some groove going, and watch some flower power action. Peace. <laughs> peace, baby, peace.
Okay, here it is. I had to shut off most of the studio lights because there was so much glare you could see it. But yeah, how cool is that? Look at those lines. Oh my god, I love mix and I love the center that look like hearts. They look like bands of hearts making the petals of the flower. How awesome is this? Gotta love it. We'll be back with dry results in a snap. Hi guys, we're back with the not so dry results. Um, I had put a picnic net over the top of this for drying and put a towel over the top of the picnic net, which I've done many times before with smaller pieces. In the course of drying overnight, one of the little legs on the uh, picnic net decided it was going to collapse. And there. There's where <laughs> it collapsed into my painting. I am gutted. Absolutely gutted. It was drying gorgeous. Look at that. Look at those lines. Look at those lines. They were gorgeous. Oh my gosh. All the separation and definition. Ah. Oh, no mud really anywhere. I'm just, I'm gutted. I'm gutted by this. Ah. We're outside. Here it is, all completely dry. I am so disappointed in where my picnic net landed. <laughs> I must not have uh, locked that one little leg on it closed enough, and yeah, it ended up collapsing and going right into the paint. But there are some really good features about this, though, that I absolutely love. Look at those lines my shadow of my big fat head out of the way. Check that out though. Look at that. I don't know if you guys can see that shimmer or not. I'm gonna try and get that shimmer. It is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I am loving this piece except for this. So hopefully I can sand some of the texture out of it where it's a little bit bumpy, lumpy and everything and uh, try and get a stencil over it or something. Try and fix it somehow. I'm not giving up on it. So Let's head over to Moose Crazy's flowing canvas now and see what she's got in store for us. Loves and hugs y'all. Thanks again Nathan for an awesome collaboration with a wonderful theme. Loves and hugs, y'all. Bye.